In this video, I'll show you how to change your pivot table defaults. I found this really helpful, so I no longer have to continue to make basically the same exact changes every time I create a pivot table. So here I've got some sample financial data. Insert pivot table. I'm selected anywhere in the table, so it automatically knows that I want to create it from table three. I'll just go ahead and create it on a new worksheet. On the data, we've got business units, scenario, accounts, and then amounts by month and full year. So let's go ahead and say that we want to see this by business unit. Um, each view of these scenarios by financial line item. So let's see it by business unit, by account, and then I want to see all the various scenarios and I just want full year data. Comes in looking something like that, which I'll be honest, I don't really love not to get these numbers formatted easy enough looks a lot better but i've got actuals budget forecast and then i've got this grand total which doesn't mean anything i've got advertising and then i've just got all of these lines indented from advertising I personally like to see advertising repeated and then for it to say advertising and then the next column, commissions expense, advertising, consulting expense, advertising, cost to get sold over here, etc. Um, I do like having the rent home down at the bottom, but I really don't like it nine times out of ten out here. So how do you change your default pivot table settings? This is the Excel default. You can head into File, Options, Data, and then right here, Make Changes to Default Layout of Pivot Tables. The very first thing, Edit Default Layout. Subtotals. Um, that's another thing. I don't necessarily want to see a subtotal um, nine times out of ten. So I say do not show subtotals. And obviously, you can then change it in that particular pivot table if you do want to see it. Grand totals, it defaults to both, you know, columns and rows. I personally, nine times out of ten, like to see it for columns only. And now this is the big one, report layout, compact form. This is compact form where it's got advertising ones and then it indents all of the accounts that fall under the segment of advertising. I like tabular form and I like to repeat the item labels. That's what I was saying. I want to see advertising commission expense, advertising consulting expense, advertising cost of goods sold. So I'll hit OK. Okay, I'll go back to my data, insert a pivot table, I got table three, new worksheet, great, I'll do the same thing. So I'll drag business unit into the rows, account into the rows, you can already see that is the way that I like it. Scenario out here, see there's no grand total, drop in the data. And you unfortunately can't automate the formatting, but that is then how I like to see it. Maybe I'm going to do a sum if off something. I, I just like to see it in that view, and then I do want to see this grand total. Um, so I hope that helps so that you don't continually make same changes to your pivot tables over and over and over again, like I did for years.